Okay, take one. Take one. We got it ready. Take one. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I'm Tom Sinclair, and I am here at the Phoenix booth at IBC 2019. So excited. This has been a great week here, and sorry I haven't posted a lot more later, but there's just been tons and tons of people here. It's really been a lot of fun. But what everybody wants to see is Phoenix 23. What in the world have the Phoenix guys done with Phoenix 23? Well, I'm kind of under a a, a, an oral NDA, that is a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't show you everything, but I can show you a little bit. So let's direct our attention over here to the big screen, and this is VMix 23. Looks a lot like VMix 22, I know, uh, but we're going to add an input. What I want to show you first is, is, is SRT, Secure Reliable Transport. Secure Reliable Transport is kind of like FedEx. When it absolutely, positively has to be there, you want to use Secure Reliable Transport, and that's going to get virtually guarantee that your video gets from point A to point B. It's a point-to-point -point protocol that allows you to set a fixed latency, so if you're using multiple cameras, each camera would have the exact same latency coming in. And it also has, and, and don't quote me on that, but some sort of built-in kind of error correction, so if it's missing some parts, a packet or something, it, it has time to go back and get it and find it and put it back in place so that you're getting video that's just absolutely awesome. In fact, here's an example right up here on the screen of a live feed from Australia. This is coming from the VMix booth that you can tell it's in Australia because the picture's upside down. But this is coming from the VMix headquarters in Australia over SRT. Uh, 500 milliseconds of latency. It's a two meg uh, image, but as you can tell, it really is, is doing well and it, it's been going almost 24-7 for, for four days. So to add something like that, if we were going to add an SRT function, it's an input down here at add input, you all, you all know about that one, and it's going to be under the stream setting here. So stream slash SRT. So we come in and click SRT, and then up here the stream type is, we've got three different choices, SRT caller, SRT listener, SRT rendezvous. Well, caller means we're going to initiate it. Listener means we're going to listen for it, and rendezvous means we're going to try from both ends to punch through whatever firewalls there are so that we can make that connection. So in this case, we would set up a listener, and we would enter the, the, the port number on the PC, we would enter the latency time, we would enter the, the passphrase, and since we're encoding on this end, we would use the hardware encoder. If we were, if we were list, oh, this is the listener, so we wouldn't need a hardware decoder. And we would set that up as a uh, essentially an input in VMix, and this is what it would look like when it was done. It would look like any other input, any other, yeah, any other input, in this case, a camera. That's pretty cool. So if you need it, you, you, you already know you need it. If you don't know what it is, you probably don't need it, although you might at some point. And once VMix 23 is released in its fuller version, we can show you some of the things that we're not able to show you today. One, the other thing that people have been calling for, I've been calling for it, is more audio channels. So VMix, you know, you got two channels now, you've got the A and the B channel, and so you thought, oh well, okay, VMix add, might add a C and a D channel. Well, they added a C and a D, and an E and an F and a G. So there, we've got more audio channels than we know what to do with. In order to see those, we're gonna go up to settings. Yes, settings right up here. And then we're gonna open the settings menu, and we're gonna go to audio outputs. And all of a sudden, we're just flooded with all of these different outputs, and you can see we've enabled those so that they'll show up. So we'll close this, this window out, and we'll come down to the audio mixer section, and let's see, let's scroll up here, and we can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, there they are. And then if we want to put something on that bus, you can see, for example, the VMix promo, that's a video we got playing right now. A and B are down there like normal, but if I right click that, now I have the choices of the other five, the added five. So the A and B will show as normal, and then the new ones will be kind of hidden behind that. And so if we select E, now when we right click again, we've got E, so we've got all of those. And yes, this is this is really cool. And this is VMix 23, an alpha, so it's 23.0.0.10. 
and I'm gonna try to put it on a thumb drive and take it back home to, to Alabama. Don't tell anybody, but if I get it, I'll let you know and you can have a copy. No, we can't do that. But the, the timeline is that vMix anticipates a beta, a public beta that, that you and I both can use in a couple or several weeks. So let's not be too tight on that one because when vMix puts out a beta, they think they've found every bug possible. Obviously, there are other bugs that, that, that are going to show up, and that's our job as beta testers. Those of us that chose, chose, choose to do that uh, can, can participate at that level. But once vMix releases the final version, which we hope will be this year, 2017, maybe around Christmas time, uh, it will be as bug-free as they can possibly get it. Um, another word, the, uh, the roadmap on vMix 23 is obviously going to be SRT, and it's going to be audio buses, but 24 is going to be replay. A good long look at replay, lots of new goodies, lots of improvements. We'll talk more about that in a later show. Hey, I'm Tom Sinclair, coming to you from IBC 2019, where I've been here with the Phoenix guys all week. Thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to tune in Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern for Streaming Idiots. You can find us on Facebook at Streaming Idiots or online at StreamingIdiots.com. See you later. Bye.